Hello and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick, with the City of Hampton's Communications and Marketing Department. And today we're going to have one of my favorite fun shows for you. Um, we have brought some paintings in from the latest show at the Charles H. Taylor Art Gallery. And we're going to walk you through it, give you just a little taste of it, and um, hopefully entice you to go see it in person. My guest is Jeff Stern with the Arts Commission. Welcome. Hi, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. I should be James Warwick Jones. I'd just <laughs> I like know. to go on record to say I that. Him. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not what's fun about this piece. <laughs> uh, but uh, Jim is under the weather and asked me to step in uh, at the last minute. So the work is great. I look forward to talking to you about it. What? How, how did he get the idea for, I mean, this is different. This is the first time he's done this show. That's true. There's a lot of things that kind of happen every year, you know, the juried art show and maybe a black and white or different themes that we've seen before. But humor is a new theme. It is. And really, it's born of social media, like so many different things. What's interesting is Jim has relationships born of a long career mm -hmm. um, here on the peninsula. And uh, he knows all the artists so well. And as they enter all of these shows and they talk with Jim and Debbie Maida, uh, who works over at the Charles H. Taylor Art Center as well, uh, people would cut up and make jokes. And uh, he started to realize that there was a real sense of humor that most of his artist friends had. And even though they were sometimes putting pieces in of a very serious nature, or sometimes even pastoral nature, that they were really pretty funny. He confirmed that on Facebook and social media where the banter is pretty interesting. <laughs> um, I only follow it from afar, but, it, but it's pretty interesting and pretty funny. And it just, it hit him that, you know, a show about art that explores the artist's sense of humor might be a very interesting thing. And I think you'll see today just a small taste of what is really 140 pieces of interesting, funny stuff from some artists that you know very well in our community. That should be fun. Well, let's start with Jaws over here, um, <laughs> because that one you can look at immediately and appreciate. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you look at it, and initially you say, oh, what is that? It's all the title that gets you. And the title is, A Good Day at Work is Better Than a Bad Day Fishing. It's priceless because <laughs> how many times have we seen the little hand painted signs, you know, about That's exactly it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and it and it turns that completely on its side. You've got the pastoral fishing scene there, the cute little bungalows, the palm trees, and then the giant. Uh, uh, and, and the shark that has more dinosaur like spine than most, <laughs> right, most right, sharks that right. you see. So it's a very funny With piece. the boat in his mouth. In <laughs> and case, a little you person know, you falling out. That. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> So it's all it's all in the details. Yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. so the longer you stare at some of these, and you begin to see things and appreciate uh, new new stuff. Yeah, it's absolutely true, and it's important to keep in mind that although we're looking at paintings today, there are works in every media. A lot of sculpture, very funny. I saw a, a mouse and cheese piece of artwork under glass. That's hysterical, um, and uh, and there's also video work, cartoons, and other videography as well. So it's something that the the whole family can enjoy and enjoy it in a lot of different media. Well, you know, that is an important thing because I think sometimes we, we take art very seriously and it is, it is serious, it is, you know, wonderful, it tells stories, it makes points, um, but sometimes it can also be fun. Yeah. And, and kids can appreciate that too because a, a, a child would enjoy that painting, I believe, also. You know, folks are just having a good time with all of the artwork we're going to see today. And, uh, but what I like about the show, what I think is really interesting about the idea is, number one, I like to laugh. Mm -hmm. I think all of us do. Mm -hmm. But for the arts, it's all about the entree. Someone who's new to it, who's just, who doesn't feel comfortable in an art gallery, might walk through. And this might be the way that they say, you know, art may be for me. That might be something I'd like to explore. I never thought about art as being able to do that before or, or being funny like that. Or it's just, a, it's just another level that people can explore the arts and get to know their own creativity in the process. All right, because I think most of us feel more comfortable maybe talking about humor and what works as opposed to brush strokes or light or, you know, some of the detail of art that we, we leave to the professionals. I like absolutely you guys. think that's right. <laughs> we'll move over to our next piece over here. And you look at it and you look at the frame and you look I at the piece this. and you wonder to yourself, and again, it's on the title. The title is Ancestry.com. 
<laughs> is perfect. It is, you know, it, it is kind of your traditional portrait, but taken to uh, a, a great little extreme. bit of extreme. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. As I, some people do with Ancestry.com. So that's why I think it's very interesting about that concept. Yeah, yeah. and the beat up frame. And, you know, I, I feel like she's going to be rocking in her chair, you know, like in Psycho a little bit there. And I'm thinking maybe she would not be happy if she came back today <laughs> and saw herself represented. We would not way. be happy if she came back today. <laughs> that much I know. Whoever she's related to. Yeah. Sure, sure. Um, what's, what also I enjoy is something that uh, James Warwick Jones started uh, last season, really, um, which is poetry inspired by art. And this is the perfect show for it if you haven't done it. If you've been into the gallery, you know that poets from our area walk in, are inspired by a piece of art, and write a piece of poetry just about that artwork. And it gets uh, placed right beside the artwork on the wall. This will be true for this show as well. And uh, if you're a poet, or you poet, you don't know it. You can come on in and and uh, become inspired by a piece of artwork and uh, write a piece of poetry. It'll be placed on the wall, and then we do a poetry reading. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. On October the twelfth, we'll do the poetry reading at two thirty at the Charles H. Taylor Art Center. All right, mm -hmm. that so, sounds like fun. Okay, let's move well, let's on. Let's go on to the next one. Let's not mm -hmm. say the title immediately because yeah. when you look at this, yeah. um, it's a very dramatic painting, but it is not immediately humorous. That is true. That is true. So you have to put all your, your fingers out, hands out. <laughs> Ready? Because it's a French manicure. Really? Yeah. That's a very funny piece. And when you look at it, you think to yourself, wow, I wonder if it needs a black light. Or, yeah. but, uh, yeah, but it's a very funny concept. Vivid. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Because really, the claws are front and center. But <laughs> until you hear the title, you don't make that connection. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true. And over on this side, uh, no. a Something we can all relate to here in the area. <laughs> Draw a bridge ahead, <laughs> which I really enjoy. And I, I love that. It's, um, you know, drawbridge one word, drawbridge two words, funny little play. Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you can really see, you kind of see that one coming, <laughs> you know? It's true. And about the fishing one as well. There are things that really relate to our area and mm -hmm. our neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the final painting that we'll look at today uh, is, uh, and actually, uh, when, when we brought it in, someone said, can you guess the title? And we looked at it and looked right, at it. Right. We both took a shot at it and both didn't get it right, but it was right in front of us the whole time. And that is the solution to the junk mail problem. Yeah, so I, I know we all need a goat in our house. <laughs> it is, it is. And you think, you know, junk and goats, it all goes together beautifully. You see them uh, pulling it right out of the mailbox there. Yeah, I have a teenager in my house, which is kind of like having a goat, but it doesn't take care, <laughs> it doesn't take care of the junk mail problem for me. No, no, they don't. And you know, when they get older, they get their own junk mail and it just, it gets worse. <laughs> So these are just uh, some representative samples of the show itself, but the show is 140 pieces, as I said, 57 wow, artists. Wow. Uh, some have been hand-selected uh, or invited to participate by, uh, by James Warwick Jones. Others heard about the concept and said, oh, oh, I want to play. Uh, and so in they've come, but it's well worth a visit. It's very different, very different than artwork that you've seen before. Many times we hear, you know, art doesn't cause the revolution, it just interprets the revolution. Heavy things we hear about some of the Maplethorpe exhibits and other art exhibits, and we wonder whether art is about those kind of weighty, heavy themes, but it's not. It's everything. Mm -hmm. uh, art is what we are as human beings, and we're complex, and we express many different emotions, and this, the humorous side, I think is a great idea. It's a very funny show and just a very cool concept, and it will run through October 19th. Through October 19th, mm -hmm. and we should repeat, I think people should know by now, but it's free. Free, free. Free, free. I mean, what a yeah. wonderful... Yeah, yeah, I need to come in with a neon sign that will hang right there. It's all free. Such right. a good deal. And it is a place you can take the kids. Um, it's a very accessible place. You can, you know, stand around and talk. It's not hushed. It's not a library anymore. That is true. For those who do business, and, and I know a lot of folks who watch uh, live and work right in the Hampton area, I enjoy... Uh, going to the Charles H. Taylor to have lunch and sit among the artwork. You uh, can do that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, and you can sit right in the gallery and just uh, and just enjoy kind of the lunch hour. And if possible, uh, James is usually always around. He's fabulous to walk around the gallery. He gives a lot of his time and a lot of information about all the different pieces. So uh, it's just a great place to spend some time. That's it's right. A, and do take the time to read the titles yes. because I think in a lot of cases that 
you know, that makes the joke that it's it's a regular, you think, piece of art, and then it's the title just tilts it a little bit and gives it that off-center. Yeah, and for people, uh, and they all view art different ways, my wife likes to hit the title first and then look at the piece of artwork, but I really think the best way to do it in this show is the reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand like back a little bit, first. you yeah. don't read, just look at it and get a sense of it, and then walk up on it and read what it is. I think that's a great way to handle it. Well, that sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of this show, especially because you can't really bring uh, the three-dimensional pieces and some of the less transportable. That's true, and they are really, really funny. There's a, um, there's a, a Barbie multi-Barbie sculpture that I think is very <laughs> funny. There's just a lot of things that are interesting in the show. That sounds great. Well, thank you for coming by, Jeff. Thank I you. appreciate Thanks. it. I appreciate it as well. And thank you for watching. I hope you will stop by Charles Taylor and get at least a little taste of this show um, and enjoy the art and have a laugh. Thank you.